Now this implies that you're going to manually input all your sequences. Obviously you're not going to do that. In most cases, you will have a file on your computer with the sequences, typically a FASTA file. When it's a large file, it will probably be a zipped FASTA file. So how can you import a FASTA file into a string set? Well, there are special read functions for doing this. So I'm going to set my working directory to the folder that contains my unzipped R data folder. And then I'm going to say, use this one as a working directory. So he will be able to find my input file because this is in the R data folder. And then I use a read function from the BioStrings package to read all the sequences in this FASTA file into a string set. And it doesn't matter whether the FASTA file is zipped or not, he can unzip it automatically. So when I run this line of code, he will import all the sequences in the FASTA file into a string set. And you can see here that there were many sequences there. I have more than 26,000 sequences in my string set. So when I take a look here, he will show me the a small overview of the sequences. So what are these sequences? These sequences are a set of human promoter sequences. So you can here see the IDs of the transcripts, the human transcripts, and here the actual sequences that they contain are the 2000 upstream bases from the start codon.